The weakest link of the car in question is the robotic gearbox, namely its main part, the clutch. The service life of this unit, with the most careful operation, rarely exceeds 70,000 kilometers, and the cost of replacing it is at least 1,000 evergreen. But this is not the biggest problem, because you still have to find a suitable service station for this work. The thing is that few people want to take on such a complex job, and those few who agree to it can do everything poorly, which is why you will again end up having to replace an expensive part. Modern engines, regardless of the manufacturer, do not themselves have a long service life, as was the case before. However, gasoline engines from Audi, installed under the hood of the car model being considered today, have surpassed many of their competitors. Premature wear of the timing chains, scuffing on the cylinder walls and a truly gigantic oil burner will haunt you after the first hundred thousand kilometers, and you will be unable to do anything about it. Many owners of the three-generation Audi A4 often report a problem associated with the failure of the electric power steering at sub-zero temperatures. Moreover, this is more the rule than the exception, and no one will tell you what to do about this problem. The windshield is very fragile and is very susceptible to sand, stones, and sudden temperature changes. While windshields on domestic cars will not even feel external influence, the windshield on a modern and quite expensive Audi A4 can break to pieces after just a few tens of thousands of kilometers. This problem only affects cars equipped with a 1.4-liter engine. It is not clear for what reason, but in tandem with this engine the manufacturer supplies rather low-quality air conditioning compressors, which can fail without good reason after just a few tens of thousands of kilometers, even if the air conditioning system in the cabin is properly and correctly used. Finding this part will be quite problematic, and the cost of repairs will be very high. Other shortcomings in the design of the machine, many owners include the following. Weak paintwork on the body, quite a meager package for the money the manufacturer asks for it, insufficient amount of free space for rear passengers, high cost of maintenance, difficulty in finding spare parts and professional service centers, no wiper behind the rear window, cheap interior trim, poor sound insulation of the interior, especially in the area of the wheel arches, low ground clearance, which may cause problems in winter, stiff suspension, quite a weak engine, 1.4 liter version. Picky about fuel quality. Overall, this car is a pretty good option for driving in dense city traffic. The attractive and modern appearance of the car is certainly captivating. However, if you decide to buy this car on the used car market, then it is best to consider the option with a manual transmission. Yes, not everyone will like driving in a big city with a manual transmission, but by doing this you will save your budget from constant injections of funds for an expensive clutch replacement. You also need to always be prepared for difficulties in finding spare parts for your Audi, which is especially true for cars produced after restyling in 2016. Here it's up to you to decide whether this car is worth the money and whether you are ready to drive a manual transmission in order to save your hard-earned money on replacing the clutch.